Hi everyone, it's Philip, your Brazilian trainer. Today I've got a new video for you about a common problem many people face, branch over posture or upper cross syndrome. This happens a lot due to using computers and phones too much, but it's not something you should ignore. Standing tall doesn't just make you look confident, but bad posture can cause injuries, especially in workouts like bench presses and overhead squats. There are two main reasons for full posture. Some back and chest muscles are weak or not active enough. Some muscles are too tight, pulling you into a rounded position. In this video, I'll show you a quick daily routine you can do at home or at the gym. This will help fix your posture fast. You can do before you work out if you work out or you can do at home if you don't work out. When talking about exercise to fix posture, many people suggest straining your back, but not all back muscles are the problem. It's mainly the lower traps and rhomboids that need to work. I'll show you the right exercise for these muscles in this video. The problem when you have your back rounded is not only your back round, you also have your head forward and also you have your butt in. It's like you have no glutes. So your whole body starts to be misalignment because one problem. In order to fix that, we need to first stretch to release some tension on your body and then we can do the exercise to strength. So again, this routine will help you a lot if you already work out to put your body on a better situation to strength the muscles. Because if you want to do the exercise to strength the muscles without to uh, stretch first, your body not going to be able to activate the correct muscles because uh, there are a lot of tensions throughout your whole body. Okay, so to start off, let's start stretching. Okay. Okay, so place your hands on the back of your head. You can use a chair, okay? So I'm using this bench here, but you can use a, a chair. Hands behind your neck, you're gonna place your elbows here. Move your knees back. And slowly you will drive your hip toward to your heels, drive your butt toward to your heels, and arch your spine releasing the tension throughout your whole back and then you hold so we, we stretch here our spine doing the opposite movement if your back is round your back have difficult to do what extension what are you doing here right now we are extension our back when you find very stiff the point very stiff on, on your spine you stop control your breathing When you exhale, you try to stretch a little more. You arch in your spine. You extend your spine. But if you feel pain, don't go more. Just hold, control your breathing. Once you're able to release the tension, you try to stretch a little bit more. You're gonna do two sets, holding about one minute resting 30 seconds between the sets. The breathing is very important. When you exhale, it's gonna be the time that will be able to release, relax your muscles to stretch more. You're gonna feel a great relief throughout your spine. Do two sets, hold about one minute, rest 30 seconds, do again. This is the first stretch. Next one is wall slides. Step a little bit away from the wall. Put your butt on the wall. Squeeze your abs toward to your lumbar spine to do not allow your body to overextend your lumbar, your back. Place your arms on the wall. Squeeze your abs very hard and Drive your arms up, holding your back on the wall. During this exercise, your body will try to arch your lumbar. It's a way to compensate during the movement to help you to do it, which is wrong. You need to squeeze very hard your abs. Think about this. 
someone is about to punch your belly, it's how you're gonna squeeze your abs toward to the wall. You keep the squeeze. As you slide your arms up, your body will try very hard to compensate, extend your lumbar, arch your lumbar. You need to squeeze harder. If you're having difficult to do this exercise, you can step a little bit more forward, okay? It's gonna be a bit easier. Bend your knees a little bit, and then squeeze your abs very hard. You're gonna do four sets of 15 times, resting 30 seconds between each set. When you lift your arm up, do not lift your shoulders like this. Your shoulders must be relaxed. As you go up, squeeze very hard your abs. <sighs> Breathe in going down. <sighs> Breathe out going up. Next one, it's the prone eye. Lay down on your belly. Extend your arms. Okay, keep your head on the floor like this. Lift your arms up, control your way down. Lift your arms up, control your way down. When you lift your arms, don't Lift up your traps, upper traps. Keep your neck relaxed. You're gonna do four sets of 15 times. Control your way down, don't jerk your body like this. You control the movement. This is important to activate your muscles correctly. If you only jerk, the movement your muscles will not work. Any exercise that we do, we need to control it. Because when you do not control the movement, we are not using correct the muscles and we're putting our joints to work more and then we now strength the muscles. Do four sets of 15 repetitions. You can rest around 30 seconds between the sets. Next one, you can use like a broom, anything, just to grab it and dislocate as much as you can. Control your way down. Bring as much as you can toward to your back and control your way down. Do 15 times. Your goal each time is bring further back. Open your chest, extend your spine. When you do this one, create a pace here, like engage your abs, keep your knees slightly bent. Don't keep your body relaxed doing that. You can use anything. <sighs> Inhale going down. Exhale. <sighs> going up. We're gaining mobility here on your spine, on your chest. And after this one, this shoulder dislocation, the last one, is gonna be to fix your head. Remember, when you have your head like this, protruding, you also need to fix that in order to help you to fix your spine. You can just fix your spine and have your head like this. Same thing, you cannot fix your head and have your spine like this. Everything works together, okay? So we did a lot of exercise to help you to gain some mobility on your thoracic spine. Now this one, it's focused on your head. If your head is probably like this, you're gonna place your finger and drive your head back like this. And then you hold three, two, one. Release. Put your finger on your chin. Drive it back, hold, three, two, one. Once you learn the movement, you don't need to use your finger anymore. You can just do like this. Three, two, one, release. This one will help you to gain strength here on the muscles around your neck to bring back your head. So those exercises you can do on a daily basis and after one week, you'll be already start to see results. If you work out, do them 
before you work out, before exercise. And during the exercise, you need to fix your posture, align your body to strengthen your body on the right posture. If you do not work out, you can do at home. Pick a time, but do every single day. After one week, you already will see improvements. I want you to do this. Take pictures of you now, like this. Side pictures, probably gonna look a little bit like this. And then take all the pictures after one week. Take week pictures, and then you'll see your body, how it will improve. It's very important that you, during your day, during your work, whenever you're doing, you fix your posture. If you do this exercise, but you do not change your posture during a day, nothing is gonna happen. So, during a day, you need to be able to put your posture on the right place, like you're doing here while you're doing the exercise, to have less tension throughout your body, and little by little, you will be able to recover the right posture, okay? Nothing happens fast, but if you start now, do every single day, I'm really sure that we will see a lot of improvements. I have new videos on my channel every single day. I teach people how to lose fat, how to get in shape faster, but without get injured. Only science-based exercise. As you see, uh, I am Brazilian, so I have a lot of accent, but I hope you guys understood. But if you have any questions, just write on the comments below and I'll get back to you. Thank you so much. I'll see you guys on the next video.